under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Odor has it. And that's the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Now the one and one pitch. This side, ball one. Come on! Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Kluber has racked up over 1,300 innings on the Major League mound, and in that time, he's allowed just barely over a base runner per inning, which of course is very good. That Got him hurt. to miss the breaking ball the there. Day. Miguel Andujar okay. goes down for out number okay. two in the top half. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Elvis at short. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. So he got him swinging. Elvis Andrews is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. A bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. So the plate now for Texas is the DH. Willie Calhoun. No one aboard for him. And two gone here in the first. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. Joey Gallo would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. No left fielder, Joey Gallo. Here's the two-one. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Here's big Aaron Judge. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's one for four. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Shot back up the middle. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. To the plate now, Torres. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Again, another foul ball. Hot shot down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two.
Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is good. The left fielder. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts, you can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Out of the stretch, the three-two pitch home. Skied into straightaway right. Chu has a read on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And a relay home, and he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Here's the one and one pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner. The one-two. Stanton at second with two down. And it's fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. So next to the plate for Texas, Danny Santana. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revolve. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff okay. guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Lifted the other way out to left center. Stanton has a read on it. One out. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Skied into straightaway right. Gardner will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Up next for the Rangers, Ronald Guzman. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And that misses two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted in the air out to center field. Gardner will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Giovanni Urshela. Go, go, go. 
Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. Ball grounded toward Odour at second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. Grounded back up the middle. Andrus fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Stepping up now, Robinson Chirinos. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Batter, Stepping in, Elvis Andrews. First two men in the inning have both gone down Andrew. via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Line to the right side, and the Rangers are in the hit column. Into the box, Matt Duffy. And he popped him up. In comes Judge, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. At the plate now, Willie Calhoun. Line hard. Two two one more time. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. set for the start of the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Aaron Judge. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Here's the pitch. Oh, he extends nicely and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And this one bounds around against the wall. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Now back. Let the David hit. Labor. Four. Into the box now, Torres. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count. It's yet to see a pass. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now so striding in, three. Luke Voigt picked up an RBI on a sack Four. fly in his first appearance. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Liner toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Next the catcher. 
Gary. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. One and two to the Yankees catcher. To two balls and two strikes now. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Ground ball foul down the left side. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Sinker, three and two now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. The center field under 11. Brett Gardner. Standing in now, Brett Gardner fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Now batting. So the batting order turns over now. He's set to go Gio Urshela. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Now the 2-1 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Odor onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Joey Gallo now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The 3 2 pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. He flew out in his last at bat. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Now in the box, Shin Su Chu. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead it's a long foul ball. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch is popped up. LeMayhew for one. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Now the three and two pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. The next 3 2. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in once again, Miguel Andujar. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Colby yeah, Allard takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Into the box, DJ LeMayhew swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the belt, the pitch. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, right field, Aaron Judge. In now, Aaron Judge, and he misses two and one. 
great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Three and one to him now. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. The ball and two strikes. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Bare-handed for one. On to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Standing in, Robinson Chirinos. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. High and deep to center field. Gardner going back at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Now back, second baseman, Rubner. At the plate now, Rubner Odor. This is skied into short left center. Stanton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Now back to the now top back. of the lineup. Stepping That's in, cool. Elvis Andrews. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact number with. So coming to the plate, Matt Duffy. He's working on a one for two game so far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Fastball is looked at for strike two. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And the slider misses low and away here. It's ball four. Two men on, two out, and into bed next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. In there, two and two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Luke Voigt. He singled his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now back. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He's one for two in the ball game. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty. One man out. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Here's Brett Gardner now, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Santana is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, so here's the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. It was a walk in his last trip. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Line to the right side. Judge is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Danny Santana. He went down on strikes last time up. One out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. Lays off two and two now. And through five and a third, already coming up on a hundred pitches here. Yeah, Matty V, this pitch count continues to go up, 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 near 100 pitches here. He's not even through the sixth inning. And Mark DeRosa, this is right where you'd like to have a pitcher like this guy. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of stress pitches for him, you know. Usually you can throw 100 pitches, and if you're not taxed and there's not people in runners in scoring position, you could be all right. But he's, he's had to grind this one. with a two ball one strike count here I think when a team starts struggling certainly offensively it's just guys trying to play above their there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone Ben Heller with a right handed reliever standing 6-3 gets the ball now out of the bullpen Ben Heller into the box now, Ronald Guzman. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Brett Martin is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. Now the 2-1. Takes this the other way to right. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. The battle right here. to the plate now Aaron Judge and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two and he missed again high and away this time three and one Torres will be next and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with only one away in now is the Yankees D.H. Torres and if you remember I'm sure he does he hit a round tripper back in the fourth a 
Murdoch gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Chu has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. A 1-1 home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 ball game. Right three called, and the inning is over. For the traditional seventh inning of the Trying to pick things up where he left off. Robinson Chirinos. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Gardner is right there, one down. Now back, Digging in, Rukna Dodor. Okay. Oh, 1 1. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Elvis Andrews is working on a one for three thus far. On a line, that's a base hit. Next to the Rangers, the third baseman, Matt. At the plate, Matt Duffy. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A designated hitter, number five, Willie Calhoun. Into the box, Willie Calhoun. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. There's ball four. Zach Britton answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. Joey Gallo will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Britton pauses. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Ball two. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count, 0 and 2 to work the count back to three and two and he's seen a lot of pitches too and not in time as the run scores the tag and they get him at the plate as one run scores but not the second Jesse Chavez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight number 30 Jesse Chavez in now Luke Voigt In there, one and two now. Chavez, a 36-year-old veteran. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands now at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. 
And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The three and one pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. In now, Danny Santana. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Sanchez over to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Shin Su Chu. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Hard sinker misses two and two. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Chad Green enters here looking to get the final out now before the ninth inning. The first base thing. Ronald. Digging in, Ronald Go Guzman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. <laughs> Keeping it down here as it's now to one and two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Fastball well outside. Fouled away. Another try at 2 2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Ladies Luis Garcia enters from the pen please. to start the ninth now inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is Number heading 45. to the bottom of the ninth. Luis. Striding Luis. in to start Luis. the ninth, Gio Urshela as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here's a pop up now. Odor waits on it. Two down. Ready once again, DJ LeMayhew. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Your attention, please. So with the save situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Into the box, Robinson Chirinos. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against him. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. The back. The second base At the plate now, Rupnit Odor. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series 
and maybe even the whole week ahead. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. And it's fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Fouled off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Duffy. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Rounded down the third baseline. A runner on first with two away. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here, and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. 5-2 the final score tonight. So the Bronx Bombers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Severino takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Corey Kluber was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen, his seventh of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Short tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, five runs, ten hit, no error. They left eight men on base. For the Rangers, two runs on eight hit, no error. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and six minutes.